Every day, students and faculty alike walk past a variety of state college treasures, like the Nittany Lion, the We Are Statue, and the Armillary Sphere. Penn State has always had a rich history with the arts around campus, but what about the masterpieces that we are unaware of? The lost art within University Park. Today, we will reveal two gems hidden in plain sight in our ongoing quest to uncover the forgotten art of Penn State. Here, we have one of Penn State's finest and largest paintings on campus, the Land Grand Fresco. Placed upon the upper walls of Old Main's lobby, the fresco was painted by Henry Varnum Poor in the 1940s. It depicts the establishment of Penn State as being one of the first land-grant universities signed into law by Abraham Lincoln. Poor was widely known as a master of frescoes, and in the early 1930s, he began planning the mural with the help from three Penn State architectural historians, Harold E. Dixon, J. Byrne Helm, and Francis E. Hislop. The fresco we see today was finally completed in 1949. Next, we have a very unique statue that many students may recognize if they regularly walk along Curtin Road. Don't worry, these are not real people lingering in the woods. The silhouette statue that you see here is actually called Hiroshima the Unkillable Human. It is a tribute statue, commemorating the lives lost because of the nuclear warfare on World War II. The sculpture itself is supposed to depict a human burning on the cement wall during the bombing of Hiroshima. Sculptor Frederick Frunk created Hiroshima the Unkillable Human as a protest against war and weapons of mass destruction. Since its creation, the statue has been placed in various places around the world in an attempt to motivate times of peace and anti-war. From murals of Penn State's creation to statues representing the horrors of wartime, hopefully you enjoyed learning about some of the unseen arts of this university. We hope you will take it upon yourselves to go out and find more of Penn State's Forgotten Art.